All right, guys, here's the deal. On my way home a Sunday night, I went to the dollar store, and uh, I was coming home about 8 o'clock or so. And uh, right about where my fist is, right here, is where my alternator was. And my battery light came on about three blocks from the house, and um, I could start smelling it burn everything through the vents. I turned my air conditioning off and uh, turned the radio off, etc., etc. My battery light came on. And then uh, I got out, popped the hood, and sure enough, my uh, alternator here was just completely smoking. It was basically on fire. As you can see, it's like the, my chicken and fish that I enjoy, uh, blackened, <laughs> but this is charred pretty good. And uh, instead of going the, the route of $350 something dollars at AutoZone, close to $500 at the dealership for an alternator, I opted to find a reviewable one on Amazon for about a third of that so a uh, hundred something bucks into it and we're good to go and I got this handy dandy tool I was digging around I found this tiny tiny little razor knife little pocket size how cool but uh we're gonna check out the brand new one yeah the UPF guy just got here about a half hour ago and here's what we're here's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> Yeah, considerable difference there, guys. Oh, I'm happy. Same parameters, 130 amp, you know, the whole deal. But this one's roasted, toasted, and roasted. All right, uh, I went on to bore you with the installation part of it, but oh no, it's broken out of the box. Son of a biscuit. Look at this, 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 uh, plastic housing is cracked look at that it's caved in no shit unbelievable let's compare the two no way here's the burnt one the plastic housing if I can get close enough it's not it's solid it's stationary it's not moving look at this one it shattered right out of the box well lucky I got it on video fantastic just adds more joy to my day all right well let's try this again all right guys I'm at about wits end it is 1130 Saturday morning and I'm sure 99% of you are unaware of the fact that my cars broke down because my alternator caught on fire Sunday evening and I have some mail that's probably not for me it never is some other guy again but uh my merchandise came in the mail and it is completely broken 48 more hours later, which is yesterday at 3 o'clock, supposed to have the uh, new one. Now it's stuck in some facility, which isn't even the post office. Uh, the tangled web we weave. All right, man, I'm going to check in when we go see Buford. I need to I need to get my, put my smile on my face. I'm not exactly, would you say, happy at this point disappointed is an understatement all right man let's uh let's turn this frown upside down as <laughs> a car just pulls directly in front of me going seven miles an hour with a big trailer thanks buddy <laughs> he couldn't wait the five seconds for me to pass went from 45 down to 27 thank you so much all right 
I'm done bitching. I'll be back on a positive note. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me set the stage. It is about a half hour after I just visited, visited <laughs> English, please, visited the post office, and uh, we're on our way to see Mr. Buford. I owe him $20 in some store credit. Oh, he's got a wheelchair. It's always different here every time I see him. It's been several days. Well, we're going to go talk to this young man, and I'm going to see. I got some other things for him as well. All right. Let's go there. Mr. Buford. Okay. How you doing, buddy? I've been missing pretty good. I've been missing you all week. Well, my car's been broke all week. Oh, hey, I didn't know what's going on. Yeah, it's my mom's car here, this, this Chevy Equinox. But, uh, you look pretty toasty. Um, well, when we went shopping the other day, you got, uh, you got your own stuff. You were in and out before I could even find you. You know, you were ready to go. But I've got a, I've got a sunshade for you. I, I got to cut it out to make it fit okay. out of a big piece of cardboard. And I got you a can of pepper spray, okay. you know, for self-defense, like I had told you before, you know, in the other video. But I also got that $20 for stuff uh, that you can get at the grocery store, okay. you know. Um, I'm sure you'd probably want to go. That wouldn't be a problem, but if not, I mean, I can just run out to Walmart and if you want to make a little list, you know, you could think about it that way. But it's up to you. And I brought you some ice blocks. Uh, ice blocks for your cooler. Okay. They're only 20 ounce frozen water bottles. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that way your ice will last longer. Thank you. Yeah, you're not in direct sunlight, and uh, I can really use my ice. In there. I'm sorry. I can really use my ice, and I keep myself. My stuff's cold. Yeah, you definitely need some ice. You know, you got to keep your stuff fresh. But uh, all right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna prepare the uh, the uh, cutout. It's just cardboard, but to fit inside your glass, you know, on your on your dash there. Okay. And uh, I just gotta not necessarily take some measurements. But uh, I'm gonna place it on your windshield and give me some uh, some cutting spot. It, it'll be a trifold where you can fold it. You know. I, I, sure, I sure appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. In the meantime, young man, how you been? Half and half. Half and half. All right. Well. Half and half. I guess. Uh, I guess my next question would be is, if you want to start thinking about some items you want from the grocery store, um, you know, we can make that happen together. But uh, let me get started on this other project to get your sunshade going. Okay. And I got those ice blocks. You want me to, you want to put the ice blocks in your cooler right now? Yeah. I can do that. I got a lunch ready too. Are you hungry? Yeah, that'd be fine. All right. Well, well I got, I have uh, uh, some, uh, you know, some drinks. I get my did you use that sunblock I gave you? Not yet. Well, that would probably help. Yeah. At least moisturize it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let me get started on this. It's, it's just, uh, I got my little razor knife ready to cut it out. Okay. Let me give you that can of pepper spray. Okay. Here you go. Oh, wrong thing. I sure appreciate it. All right, check it out. This is police grade. It's pocket size. All I gotta do is wash it. All you gotta do is is uh spin the little lever on the top and it's ready to ready to spray. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, in case you get in a pinch. You know. Alright. Well let me get working on that and okay. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Word. Amen. Hey Malik! Hey, you can help me out. I'm trying to help Mr. Uh, Buford here. I'm upset that you haven't been returning my car. I, my car's been broke down. I got my mom's. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, my, here, go. Is it going? Yeah, go to this side. What's up, people? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm on. I just got I just took a shower and everything before work. Took a shower? Yeah, I just washed my clothes. Yeah, you were saying you were getting a job. I was like, how'd that go work out? It's been going, it's been going alright. Alright, it's not quite as tall, but I will right, we'll slide this up. Oh, like a, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna draw a line here with my Sharpie so I know where to cut. Like a just around the, the this sun, this is like gonna be the sun. inside. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little sun shield for him. I got a Sharpie here. Yeah, Steven's been calling me. I talked to him, but man, an hour and a half. That guy can talk. Hmm. There's no doubt. All right, let's hold it straight. Shut I'm up. trying to hold the center on the mirror stem. Does that look like it's on the mirror? Yeah, right there. Let me pull up. Let me move it straight. What's going on, man? Doing all right? Let me have this straight real quick so we can line it up. Uh, An inch one way or the other. I think right there is okay. Alright. Well here, then I'll rely on you. I want you to draw a line down the edge of the car here. Okay. So I know where to cut. Awesome, awesome. And uh Yeah, you just follow the follow the line of the windshield. I know you can't really see through the cardboard, but Yeah, I'm not that cool. Oh well yours is pretty straight. Here, let's trade sides. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get Oh, it. you just hold that. I'll get it. You see where it's straight right here, but... Yeah. Well, it's got to fit on the inside. So, so we got to subtract right. a little bit, like right here. right here. Oh, okay. Yes, right. he has that curve too. Yeah. Because the glass curves. All right, now Thank I'm going to cut this out. Is that, uh, is that James? That's Robert. Oh. Well, how have things been going, man? Um, been going. I'm Look at this. Working it. I'm See, working downtown. That's my alternator out of my Honda. Oh wow. Yeah, it burned up. Almost caught on fire. Well, it did catch on fire. It was smoking and sparking and everything else. And uh, I was only two blocks from home oh. when it started. So that's been the deal there. Well, I'm glad that you're. Oh yeah. Sorry about the car. Oh no. Well, now there's been a problem with the part. I got the new part in the mail, and uh, broken right out of the box. You see this electrical connector right here? That's where. Oh, the, yeah. No, no, not that one. It's the 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 Molex right here. This guy. Okay. Oh the. the, this, the. Yeah, this where the Molex plugs into the, it's the sensors and all that. Mm -hmm. This thing here, it was crushed in on the other one. The, all this plastic around the edges was all cracked and it was pushed in. And you could wiggle it. It smells barbecue, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, you know, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's well done. Kind of the way my mom cooks. Well done. Shout out to mom. Uh, not in the cooking department. <laughs> Sad to say, mom, sorry. But, uh. Chef Ramsey, you are not. But cool. All right, now we can do a test fit. There you go. Dude, check out that little tiny ass razor knife. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I one that small. Either did I. I found it in the drawer. There we go. Yeah. We collect everything. We don't throw nothing away. We're... At all. No, nothing. You want to go on the other side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I got some duct tape to seal it off. All right, here's what we're going to do, Buford. <laughs> pass this over to my friend Malik. We're gonna do a test fit. Yeah, see how this goes. Look at that. Well, here's what you can do too. You can put something on the dash. Yeah, you can shove this in here. Yeah, that's gotta be flipped. I think, uh, that might be able Okay. And we got the little slice in the in the middle here to get around the mirror. Yeah, I'll be fine top that. Hmm. Look at that. I right, let go. Yeah, I'll be fine top that. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah. Gonna be 20 degrees cooler here. It's already 20 degrees cooler. Well alright then. Have you thought about your shopping list, sir? No, not too much. Okay. Well, what, what, what do you need? 
Okay. You got twenty dollars credit for me to go to the store. Okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, let's see. I'm okay for right now, though. No, I'm gonna buy. So what do you need? Well, saying, I'm, I'm okay for right now. You're okay for right now. You know that they had a dinner here today at uh, ten nine ten o'clock. So okay. I already eaten, and I'm okay for right now. So well, all right. All I need is ice here. Okay. Well, let me at least get you a, a giant bag of ice. Plus, I got the, uh, you know, the ice blocks. Let me get you the ice blocks. Hey, Malik, do me a favor, buddy. Sorry. Will you go to the back door there? And pop the cooler door open. Cause I got some ice blocks for him. Alright, check this out. All the hours water bottles that I froze. Oh, works as well that way it mm -hmm. you know the ice that he does put in there right. stays well ice longer. So that'll help it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got a lot of water in there. I'll tell you what. These empties in here aren't doing you no good. No, they're, they're not empty by any means. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me run to the store and I'll get you another big daddy bag of ice. Okay, sure, Sound all right? Sure, sure, appreciate it. All right. Well, let's, I guess, close this up in the meantime. I guess we're looking at it this way. Well, I would say it's about 1220. My phone's in the car. Awesome. I gotta be at work at three. Gotta be to work at three. Twelve nineteen. Look at that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, I got a homie beacon. All right, let's roll. Let's ride out. Let's ride out. Cool you off. No They're sweating bullets over here. I got you a fresh bag of ice. We're gonna dump all that warm. Oh, you already dumped it. Okay. We're just gonna add this in because you got those ice blocks in there too. So. All right, Buford. Are you sure you don't need any groceries? Okay. What about tomorrow? You want me to come by tomorrow? Uh, we'll be here tomorrow. Okay. There you go. I beat it up. Yeah, you got to crack it up. All right, young man. You're welcome, young man. Okay, well, I'm gonna let Loretta know that, you know, if she sent that $20 for you, you know, I don't have cash. I don't carry cash. Let me go around. Okay, I'll go this side. Yeah, I don't carry any cash, but, uh, you know, normally some, you know, most people send me, like, you know, gift cards for Walmart and Target and that type of thing. But, um, I still got that, so my car's broke down, like I said, so I'm waiting on a part, and there's a big dilemma there, so I'm not happy about that, but. I hope you get it fixed. Yeah, no, I will. Yeah, we ain't here this morning, so I'm good to go right now. But, but, but I appreciate it. But we're going to play here in the morning. Start about nine o'clock. Okay. How's that, uh, the shade working on for you? Yeah. All right. Good deal. Okay. I sure appreciate him now. Well, you're welcome, sir. Then I will leave you be. I'm talking about high, high, you know, but, uh, something like that, but I really helped right there. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you get the sun beating in your yeah, face. Yeah, uh, I got some extra waters. Uh, I guess that worked. All right. I'll take these, yard man. Have a good day. Buford, you like Dr. Pepper? Yeah. How about a Dr. Pepper for you, young man? That'd be good. Nice and ice cold. You know, yeah, I can open it. Want me to throw these in your cooler? Yeah. All right. Let me crack this open for you. Okay. I like it. Yeah. But I sure think you can take it out. I might. I might, Rabbit. 
Yeah, help yourself, man. All right. And I want to put these, these are very cold. Right. Almost it's frozen. Right. Like out there. Yeah. Well, you got to stay uh, liquefied, you know, hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. Sounds like some butter. Yeah. 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 I'm going to get your car paid. All right. Well, no, I will. That's not a problem. Okay. For sure. Good to see you again, sir. Yeah, I got, I All got, right. I got to lay down this shade where I can't walk around all the time. I, 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 I get my, my chair here. I get up while walking around, and I get to walk around. I come back and sit down. Yeah. All right. Well, can I come check on you tomorrow? Yeah. I'll be in the same car. Okay. So that way, when I pull up, you won't be startled. Okay. You know, I not that you were in the first place. I don't want to pull it up there. Yeah. Well, don't lose hold of that pepper spray. Okay. Yeah. Could save your life one day. Sure, sure, pretty You never know. You can't never tell. But I should put it up and have it. You're welcome, young man. Yeah, you, but you've been having big help to me. All right. Well, I'm going to go about my business for the rest of the day. I'm going to drop him off. He's got to go to work. Okay. He got a job after looking for quite a bit. Okay. And uh, he's trying to be a con contributing citizen to the world, and nothing wrong with that. And maybe he's going to help you out one of these days. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No, well, that's uh. Well, I go around and come now. Well, I agree. It's all about karma. You know, I was so angry today when I went to the post office because I got scammed. You got scammed? Uh, another story. I don't want to. I don't want to revisit that story just yet, okay. because I'm salty. Okay. Okay, I'm still saving my money to get me that car, though. Not a problem, sir. Okay, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow around lunchtime. Okay, but well, I'll be in there eating at lunchtime. Okay. About one o'clock so. Okay, well, at least I'll maybe, uh, yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, 1 o'clock sounds good. Okay. They open All in right. the mornings, though, right? Yeah. yeah. 7, I think. In the morning, yeah. Yeah, 7 o'clock. All right. Okay. 7.30 is. Are you ready, young Malik? You ready for work? Let's go. Sure, sure appreciate it. Okay. Not a problem, young man. Okay, I need so. a help. Yeah, yeah, I try, I try Get on some of that Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah. I'll try to help him out when I can, too. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. And then we can maybe discuss, uh, you know, maybe some car shopping here in the next couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, I know you want to get a replacement. So, all right, we'll see if we can make that happen, young man. Okay, you take it. Y'all have a good day now. Yeah, we're, well, we're going to try. Okay. Not too bad out. Pretty humid. It's only 80 degrees, but it's humid as can be. It's pretty sticky out. So. All right, I'll talk to you again. Okay. All right, sorry it took me so long. Y'all have a good day. Sorry it took me so long to get back. Yeah, no, no, it's uh, I've been so disappointed. I, I all my stuff is in my car, and then uh, I plan on it was supposed to be fixed Wednesday. The part came in, it was broken when I got it out of the box, just broken. Now, I, I immediately sent in for the replacement. You can't get a broken part, then. Yeah, they sent me well, it, they, they didn't send it that way, it got dropped somewhere along the way because you could see the damage on the box. Nobody about it. Well, no, I returned it and they immediately started sending me a new one, which is now lost in the mail and also damaged, which I was supposed to get yesterday by 9 p.m. And I got a message at 5 o'clock saying, What kind of part is it? Alternator. Oh. Uh, oh. Put this in the trash. Yeah. All right. Either way, I'll get it figured out. No big deal. I'll get it fixed and work out with No, I will. I've done worse. Um, okay. Well, nothing wrong with looking. No. Yeah, at least get you out of the, get you out of this car and into some air conditioning and cool yeah. off and see the world and. Right you know. I'm going through a hard time. So I'm, I'm trying to tough it out the best way I can. Yeah. Well, all you can do is, you know, adapt and adjust. You know, it's. That's all you can do. That, that, that's why I mean. Haven't had some good, good friends like you, I wouldn't have wanted to. Okay. Well, I'm glad I can help. Okay. But, uh, all right, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. No, this time I promise because I'll, I'll use this car again. Okay. I can only be gone for limited amounts of time because okay. I'm borrowing it and my mom gets salty. It's my mother's car and yeah. she's had it five years and she's got a whopping 48,000 miles on it. Yeah. What, what, so, what year is that? It's 16. Yeah. Yeah. She bought it with 37. 
So she's put 11,000 on it in five years. The problem is, is that that's the, that's the thing. It's like, well, here's the deal. If I leave with her car, so mostly it's not a big deal because my car is there as a backup for her to use, but my car is broke. So now she freaks out because she feels trapped. You know what I'm saying? Women and mothers, man. Yeah. Can't beat them, can't live without them. So. Well, mine's a Honda. That's a Chevy Equinox. Yeah. Got all the bells and whistles, Bluetooth and everything else. And she thinks Bluetooth is something pirates have. Yeah. Yeah, all right, man. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Buford. All right, take it easy. We're going to try. Ugh. Mr. Buford, what a nice guy. Yeah. Feel sorry for this old man. You know. I'm gonna shut down. Who was the first ones in the park? Buford, I got so tied up in making your uh, sunscreen and getting your ice, uh, I forgot your lunch. I should appreciate it. Yeah. That's a thick cut bologna and cheese and a bunch of snacks in there. I might hear that bit later on. Yeah, absolutely. There was a Yoohoo chocolate drink in there. Okay. Yeah, it's still cold. But, uh, all right, I just uh, I didn't want to forget about that. So you get you know, on the truck and put a straw in for me. I'm sorry. I get I get, a, get that put a straw in it for me. Put a straw oh, in the drink. Yeah, sure. It's hard for you to do it. Yeah, no problem. Why don't you hold on to that? And I'll grab the yuhu straw. Yeah, it's getting hard for me to do it. I believe you. I tried to do the other night. I didn't have no yeah, it's not too easy. They're uh, not only are they kid proof, they're adult proof. Yeah. There you go, young man. Thank you, sir. All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget that. Okay. So, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. You take care. All right. Good. Good deal. No, no, all right, man. No, Please be safe. And uh, I, I already like the sun idea. It's got to be 10 degrees cooler in there. It might need some adjusting here and there, but uh, I think it'll be okay. You'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. I should have done that a long time ago, but I didn't think about it. Well, we got you going now. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, You're welcome. He's already drinking the Yoo-Hoo. I had to pop the straw in there because he doesn't have, he had a stroke. His left arm don't work. I mean, he has very limited use, yeah. if any. All right, you're shutting down.